This morning, we are getting a more in-depth look into the final decision coming from the U.S. District Court case between the University of Pittsburgh and former police officer Michael Rosfeld. That decision ending in a dismissal. Chris Hoffman is live this morning, and Chris, you were able to dig into these court documents overnight. Good morning, Heather. According to the court paperwork, Michael Rosfeld willingly resigned from his job with the University of Pittsburgh Police after an incident at this Oakland bar. Now, court papers go on to say Pitt intended to terminate his employment, but Rosfeld resigned, presumably to avoid the stigma of termination. Now, Rosfeld sued Pitt because he claimed the university forced him out of his job with the university after arresting the son of a high-ranking school official. The incident happened at the Garage Door Saloon in December of 2017. In surveillance video, Rosfeld is seen in the shadow spot there. The day after all this, he was placed on administrative leave. In January of 2018, he received his termination notice and saw the case number was the same as the Garage Door Saloon incident. Court papers say Rosfeld felt coerced to resign, but the judge disagreed, saying resignations are presumed to be voluntary unless it is forced by coercion or duress. It goes on to say Rosfeld never showed plausible cause that he was forced to resign. Now, after resigning, Rosfeld would end up at the East Pittsburgh Police Department. It was there where he would shoot and kill Anton Rose II, and a jury would acquit him of charges, uh, acquit of him of charges last year. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.